Hello, people. It's RC, and I'm back with another commentary with a Rosh. I did an earlier commentary back when. It, oh, if you didn't hear it before, look down in the description. Um, so Rosh is a big Laker fan, and the Lakers just won. If none of you guys don't watch basketball, so how are are you happy that your Lakers won, Rosh? Very. If they lost, I wouldn't have had to shave off my hair. You so. you did a, you did a bet with your dad with that, right? Yeah. I and can't well, stop smiling. <laughs> and what did you get for uh, for the Lakers winning? Sixty bucks. <laughs> did you do a bet with Too Deadly too? Uh, all the people that know him on the YouTube, Mister Too Deadly, Rosh did a bet with him. I'm pretty sure, like for like ten dollars or something. Yeah, I did a ten dollar bet with him, which was I got fifty from my dad and ten from him. Ah, so he's he's a little in debt right now because he doesn't make much money. Um, so me and Arash are going to be talking about what do we want to see in a video game? Because Arash, I don't know, what, what what kind of video games do you like to play? Like, what what do you, what's your favorite game, video game to play? My favorite video game to play presently? No, no, like, what, like, was your favorite video game? Like, oh. ever. Not like, like, top three. I'd have to say Call of Duty 4 was the most recent one. Yeah. It was... I was addicted to that. Any Nintendo 64 games or any of that? Yeah. And then, um, Mario Party and Mario Kart. Oh, I had so much fun with those. And then, I what about, like, so any of, like, did you ever play the WWE games on the Nintendo 64? Like, did you ever get into that? I've, I've played them, but I never got into them. Well, like, on the do on Nintendo 64, there was a thing called Raw No Mercy. Yeah, uh, that, that was a very good game. And what about uh, that all this that Super Mario 64, which was okay. And then uh, I don't know, like Nintendo 64. Mario Party. <laughs> Mario. No, remember uh, what's that game called? It's with gold. I think it's GoldenEye for James Bond. GoldenEye. That was that was one of my favorite games. Oh, uh, I was. It was so much fun to play with friends. And then um, they're releasing that for the Wii again. Yeah, disappointment. I wish they came out with it for Xbox or PS3 or something. Yeah, but I, I, I just don't it, like the Wii. Did you see the gameplay? Like, it looks just like it looked like a uh, Nintendo 64, like the graphics wise. It doesn't yeah. look that good. But I bet you the gameplay, it's going to be so much fun to play with friends. Well, actually, I kind of like the authenticness of that game. And I like what they did, but, like,. Like, for example, it used to lag so much. I mean, you shot a rocket, and it would lag. So I think they only fixed up on that, which is good. But I guess the graphics could have improved a little. But the gameplay should stay. What it was. Game. Yeah. And then, uh, I don't know. I want to really see what the Nintendo 3DS looks like. I want to see 3D without glasses. Because yeah, cool. I don't know how they did that. I'm pretty amazed. And then, uh... The kinetic doesn't look that good. The PS3 move looks horrible. I don't know what they're doing with that. Why would you do that? <laughs> I don't know, like... I mean, for the move, they said there was going to be games out for it where you could, like, shoot and all that. Like, shooter games. Like, SOCOM 4. That's really, really dumb. And then the kinetic, there's, like, different... If you go on, like, Amazon, they show all the games for it. That jungle game. Yeah, they have a jungle game. They have like a pet game. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's a hundred and fifty dollars for the kinetic, and then it costs sixty dollars for a game. Such a waste of money. I know, but uh, people are gonna buy it. People yeah. will buy it. <laughs> Same with the move. Yeah, I, yeah, people are gonna buy the move. That's a don't buy the move, guys. <laughs> no, I mean. If you don't have a Wii and you're not planning to get a Wii, I guess. And but if you wanted a Wii, I guess you would get it. I think it costs like fifty dollars for the thing, and then you need like twenty dollars more for another thing with it. It's not worth it. Uh, so Arash, like, what, like, do you like? If you had to make one game, what would you call it, and what kind of like genre would it be? Like a shooter game or like an adventure game? Like, I don't know. Like, what type of game do you want to see? Like, if you had to make a game. Just for um, you. Not for, like, everybody. Just for you. I think I would have to make it... Well, I guess there's two things that I would have to make it. One, 
Well, two different games. One would be a first-person shooter. I mean, I mean, yeah. just all the games I've played, first-person shooter. I've grown up with it, and yeah. But lately, I've been really liking, like, you know, games like Assassin's Creed or that kind of thing. So I think I like, would like a mixture. Really, yeah. Alright. And that's like Grand Theft Auto kind of like no, but like first person though. Like, like no, like I think I'd have to keep them two separate games though, because the first person shooter and that kind of game RPG or whatever, it, it just doesn't go well together. Um, it's like Red Dead Redemption, sorta I guess. Uh, so we're wrapping up here, Rosh. The gameplay okay. is coming to a close. I think, oh no, I got one more kill and I'm done. It's right here. Oh, 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 we, yeah, so, yeah, that's the game. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Arash, for spending your afternoon, I guess, talking with me. Uh, make sure you don't stop believing, Arash, because I will never stop believing. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Talk to you later.